Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you guys about talent and what exactly it means to me. Sorry. Uh, so before I do that, I'd like to ask a question to the audience. Show of hands, who else in here likes superheroes? All right, I can see some hands. Pretty good. Uh, I was really into superheroes as a kid. Uh, movies like, um, movies like Zoom, Academy for Superheroes, Shaolin Soccer, and Underdog were among many of the movies that have a special place in my heart. I was specifically fascinated with the concept of everyone having a unique super ability. However, that being said, that that interest, that fascination, didn't translate into real life until when I was about five or six when I saw a beautiful drawing of a red flower while going through my cousin's exercise books. I don't remember specifically how it happened, but I do remember that uh, my cousin, she was about 16 or 17 at the time, and me and her brothers, the gang, uh, were sitting down in the living room and uh, we were playing games. And we were playing PlayStation 2. And if you remember, the PlayStation 2 only had two outlets, meaning only two players can play at a time. So they were playing and I was just sitting down on the couch board. So my cousin came, and somehow, as she was going upstairs, she left one of her exercise books on the table. And uh, me being the curious little child I was, I went to go through it. I was really curious about what they were learning. <laughs> and uh, so I was just going through it, and it was maths. I was like, hmm, I'm excited to learn this. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> no offense to Mitz Baker, but it's uh, very, <laughs> sorry. Um, so there I was, right, going through it. And uh, I hit the last page. I was on the last page. And for the next one minute, I was just like, wow. Because in front of my impressionable eyes, there was a beautiful drawing of a red flower. Now, this picture is just for you guys to get an idea of how it looked like, but it didn't exactly look like this. Uh, keep in mind that this was a very, very long time ago, and I don't remember exactly <laughs> how it looked like, but I do remember the artist, whoever drew it. Still to this day, I didn't talk to her about it. Uh, whoever drew it was drew to such artistic finesse that it was so visually appealing. I remember it was so appealing that from that day on, I started associating art as some sort of superpower that people had. <coughs> Up until this man, Peter Draws. And uh, as you can tell from his name, very mysterious guy. No one knows what he does. <laughs> his name is Peter Draws. Um, I'm joking, he's a YouTuber, uh, meaning he makes videos. And in these videos, you see him doing all things art-related. He draws, he paints, he does a bit of photography, he reviews art, and sometimes he makes music. You get the idea. And uh, one day, he made this video. He called this video, Drawing Your Feelings, A Calm Guide. And in this video, you see two shots of him. One shot being a horizontal shot, another a vertical. In the vertical shot, you see him holding a Sharpie and sticky notes. Some people call it post-it notes, but uh, <coughs> yeah. So you see him dueling away. And as he's dueling, he then starts talking to the audience. He started talking to the viewer about how he's feeling, you know, how he's been feeling throughout the day, how he's feeling throughout the year, and how exactly what he's drawing reflects what he's feeling. It was, it's a very, it's a very amazing video because he has a, he has a way in which he articulates his, his emotions only utilizing a bunch of lines and some irregular shapes and some shaded areas here and there. It's a very amazing video. I highly recommend you watch it. Granted, you have uh, 49 minutes, because <laughs> most people don't have patience to watch a grown man cry for 49 minutes. Uh, um, so from this video, I learned that great art is made when, <coughs> when, we, when, made when an artist, an individual, is releasing all his emotions kept up inside. I learned that <coughs> talent is merely a side effect of that whole process of you releasing your emotions. And for my case, and I'm sure it is for Peter's, uh, I feel like art offers a very depth in which you can express your emotions. I can express so much only utilizing you know, a bunch of lines and you know, a happy face. When in comparison, some other people might prefer, uh, I guess, uh, you know, making music, a bunch of notes. And it doesn't even have to be the same thing for you guys. Your way of releasing your emotions might be you know, kicking the air. Whenever you get mad, kick the air. Whenever you get happy, you kick the air. You do this enough times that you start getting good at it. You start developing control over how hard you hit, where you hit, the position of your you know, body. And from there, you can go into other ventures like you know, kickboxing, professional football, soccer. And 
possibilities are merely endless. Let's say your way of releasing your emotions might be screaming. Granted, you don't uh, disturb anyone. You go home and you start screaming. <laughs> uh, it, is, uh, it is a therapeutical option. There's some therapy sessions that offer screaming. And, and you do this enough time that you start developing skill. You start getting better than the average person at screaming. You start developing control over the pitch in which you scream. Your, uh, your, you know, your, the, your vocal range gets wider and wider. You can control, like you can scream high and you can scream low. I'm very bad at singing. <laughs> Right? And from there, you can go into you know, opera, you can go into you know, multiple bands, you can go into anything. That's what I'm... And talent is you know, merely a side effect of that whole process, a whole process of you releasing your emotions. Artist Frank Ocean uh, gets this point across and more by saying, play these songs, it's therapy, mama. They pay, they pay me, mama. I should be paying them, I should be paying y'all. Honest to God, I'm just a guy, I'm not a God. By this he's saying that, you know, the fact that they, his, his fans, his audience, pay him to do these, makes these songs is just, you know, not the main objective of him making songs. Him making songs is, you know, for therapeutical reasons rather than for making money. I believe it's very important to display your talent. I believe it's very important to display your talent because all right, think of it like this. As a newborn child, we're all a blank canvas. As people come and go in our lives, they pick up a paintbrush, dip it in paint, and they leave one stroke. Of course, our parents having the most, you know, the most impactful stroke because you, they have you know, biological factors in addition to they're the first person we meet and we get to know, and we, they have a larger role that plays in who we are and who we might become. So as we grow up and as we develop as our own masterpieces, we then <coughs> become one color, a color that is a combination of all the people that have inspired us, all the emotions that, have, that they have left in us, all the dents they have left in our inspirations, on in our personality, sorry. And the process of making art requires us to reflect that person that we are, that, you know, that emotion that, have, that has you know, built up in, inside us. So why? Why do we have to release that emotion? Well, to first explain that, I'm going to first have to explain how color works. I'm doing this because it will play in a larger metaphor. In a larger metaphor, I will talk to you guys about um, later in the speech. Uh, so how color works is that light, light uh, being having multiple waves and different waves having their own little uh, different wavelength gets reflected onto an object. And some waves are then absorbed and kept inside the object, while some others are released. Like for example, this red shirt. All the waves are getting, into, are getting reflected onto it, and then some waves are absorbed while others are reflected. Same thing for the blue shorts. So how does this relate to art? This relates to art because white, the shade that represents divinity, the shade that represents prosperity, peace, is only achieved when all colors are released, all emotions are released, all, I guess, vibrations, all these inspirations that we have are mixed up with the people that have inspired us and then released onto any medium that we like. So to conclude, I would like to say this. In the world of art, we're all tinted mirrors, tinted by the emotion that have captured our interests. As we, as we, uh, as we perceive this, uh, as we, sorry. As we, uh, sorry, as we experience this series of formation, which is life, we have to then reflect that light tinted by the color of our soul. That color then adds to the tint of the new generation. The key word being color. Color is a concept that captures all tints, hues, and tones. All colors add to it, from the fiery reds to the coldest blues. All add to achieve a state of peace and prosperity, the shade white. And talent is merely a tool that you use to reflect that light. It is precisely how or what you contribute to society in order to collectively achieve peace and prosperity together. Thank you very much.